Wow, Mid Journey sort of kind of announced an upcoming release of the version 5 of their engine and it looks insane. Because if you used Mid Journey so far, you know that there are some things that give out that the image was generated with artificial intelligence. And when we look at images supposedly generated with version 5, we start to see less and less of those little errors here and there and images are almost perfect. For example, look at this one. As you can see, if you take a longer look, you will realize that it's still not a real picture, but we're really, really close to it. So before I show you more pictures, let's just go through Midjourney's announcement to make sure that we're on the same page. So they say here, hi everyone, we're getting close to releasing V5. This is so exciting. But before we do, we need your help. This concerns paying Midjourney members. So those who have subscribed or paying a monthly subscription, which I am. So here's what they say. You'll be shown two images at a time and uh, please select the one that you like more. And it's not a comparison of two images. Those two images can be completely different. So that's why it's based on your own personal aesthetic taste and that's it. So we don't really care about that. We just want to see what the engine is capable of. And then they also specify that these images are not representative of the V5 algorithms we will release soon which is quite strange, it's quite tough to understand exactly what they mean. But here's the thing, when they released V4, which was really not long ago, and when you think about it, it's really crazy how fast it goes. When they did that, they did the same kind of announcement and asked users to rate images supposedly generated by V4. And we can still take a look at them here. So this, for example, is an image that was used for the exercise before the release of V4. And the reality is that the actual V4 is much, much better, much more impressive than this. So basically it's like the opposite. The images that we're going to look at to rate the results of V5, imagine that the actual version 5 will generate even better images than that. So we're back to V5 ratings here. Well, I prefer this one. And as you can see, those two images are completely different and I really have to tell which one I like the most, but we are here to discuss them and see the improvements. One thing we can notice immediately is that the quality is much, much better. The overall quality, the level of details, the resolution, and generally the photorealistic pictures are indeed way more photorealistic. Take a look at this one, for example. Image generating AIs are known for problems with fingers, for example. There are usually too many fingers. Well, in this one, uh, there is technically one extra finger, but it's much better, right? In V4, an image like this would probably show you two or three more fingers, or this finger here would be much more awkward. Now, this image here also looks quite photorealistic when you think about it. The effect of the smoke and the fire and everything else, and especially the trees behind, this is very impressive. I don't even know which picture I prefer here because uh, this one is more artistic and this one is really photorealistic. But let's say this one. Okay, this is really crazy because this is not a photo. This is an artificially generated image by Midjourney's version 5. And the level of photorealism here is absolutely insane. And actually, this image here is also very nice, but I'll go with this one. Same here. This is very, very impressive. We can see some uh, errors still, for example, with the eyes. But another point where it improved, it seemed to have improved dramatically, is the teeth. Because before that, a lot of pictures would have way too many teeth, just like with fingers. And some people would even have like three decks of teeth here, which was quite funny. Honestly, this is quite addictive. Just to keep clicking like this on the images and just looking at uh, what this AI is capable of. Here, for example, we can see the details on people's faces are very, very precise. And this overall image looks extremely realistic. But this one is great as well. I do believe that this is something that could have been generated by UV4. So let's choose this one. Again, we have two uh, quite realistic characters. Maybe just the body shape here is obviously strange, but still those two look better than V4. And here it's actually quite interesting because this seems very, very photorealistic. And so you have here C-3PO in some kind of dark alley and it seems like a real shot from a movie. And nope, this is image generated and you can actually see some error around here, which uh, gives it up. 
but otherwise probably nobody would tell that this is not like a real shot from a movie set or something like this. Here the same photorealism, the reflections in the water are pretty impressive. Okay, so one thing that V5 does not seem to be able to do yet is the English text, right? So letters and words are still gibberish, but the image itself is very convincing, almost like a photo that was taken mid-action. So of course I skip a lot of photos, not all of them look like this. If you are a paid subscriber of MeJourney you can take a look and you will see that I'm actually not showing you all the photos and a lot of them are still not necessarily more interesting than V4. And you can take a look at my count here so you'll understand how many of them I skip each time. But here, as you can see, uh, those two images are really incredible. They indeed seem like pure photos of whatever it is or wherever this is. I don't even know what to choose. I'll go with this one probably. This one is very artistic. I like it a lot. Also, what seems to have dramatically improved are the close-ups. So anything that is really close, like macro shots, they seem to be much better in this version, like this picture here, for example. Those seem like legit video game screenshots. And by the way, I've seen so many character models popping up here that I'm sure that Mid Journey will revolutionize video game creation in terms of 3D worlds and character design. That's 100% sure. Here we have Tyrion Lannister. Well, I wouldn't say that this picture is particularly realistic. However, one thing's for sure is that when you look at this picture, you clearly recognize Cara Delevingne. And what's very impressive compared to V4 is that when you prompt an actual person in V4, you do not get a photorealistic version of them. You get some distorted, cartoonish, very strange version of those famous people. But with V5, it seems that that's not the case anymore. And as much as it is impressive, it's also pretty freaky. Because this can be used for very, very weird borderline purposes. But anyway, let's keep going. All right, and here we have an oversized Spitz dog. So either the dog is too big or the tent is too small. But anyway, besides the sizes, this picture looks quite realistic. So I like it. Same here. This is quite impressive. And here we're back to what I said previously, uh, the close-ups, which seem to be very realistic, like this one here and this. So this is an improvement from the V4. Of course, as I said, there are still mistakes. For example, like here, the image looks pretty nice, except the leg is twisted in a quite unrealistic way. So you can see that it does still make mistakes. That one is pretty nice. The fruits here seem very realistic, especially in a close-up version like this. And here as well, generally everything is great, the water and the face. However, the fingers still give it up, not in terms of quantity, but in terms of length, right? And <laughs> this fingers are a bit too long. But if you discount this, this picture would be amazing. Oh man, this is really awkward. I have no idea what the hell this is and what are these cats doing? Are they dead or are they hanging there? I mean, I have no idea, so... But at least that reassures me because I was actually almost tricked when I was looking at these images. I was like, no way that this is AI generated. But when I see this, I'm like, okay, this is a real picture, but it doesn't make sense at all. So yes, this is AI generated. Just like here, okay, this guy seems to be farting, except that he farts from his back here. Quite weird anatomy that he has, I must say. Anyway, this picture, however, is very, very beautiful. And yeah, I'll stop here. I just think that this is Kill Bill, but Kill Bill Clinton, right? Or Bill Clinton is the killer, if I recognize him correctly here. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Who do you think this is? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, this is very impressive. I'm super excited. I actually can't wait to use the V5 myself. And again, I'm so impressed by how fast these things evolve, given that there are now also rumors that chat GPT-4 should be released quite soon and that it might be multimodal, meaning that it won't only be based on written text, but that it will also integrate learnings from videos, images, music, and stuff like this, which would be crazy. But again, we're not sure about it, so let's not speculate for now. One thing is clear though, this goes really, really fast. And a few last images before we go. This one, hyper-realistic, very, very nice, incredible image generation AI. And this one too. So, if you are a paid MeJourney subscriber, I strongly suggest you to go uh, on Discord, read the announcement, click on the link, and have some fun and see 
what Mi Journey version 5 will be capable of and imagine that in reality it will be even more powerful than that.